Maybe this will make me Look, you know, there's actually something I've been meaning to talk to you about. This relationship, it's not working. And I want to say it's definitely not me and it's all you. Look, I, I know I used you in the beginning, but I just, I regret it now. You're just way too clingy. I see you everywhere and you're so suffocating. And I'm not the only one that thinks so. We're breaking up. It's a love affair that's been going on for a while. Humans and plastic. It's the crystal clear plastic that lets you see everything you wrap. Since it burst onto the scene last century, plastic has become one of our favourite things to make things out of and wrap things in. And there are good reasons for that. Plastic's cheap to make and it lasts a really long time. Like a really, really long time. You're going to be around for like at least 500 years. That's just way too much commitment for me. And while some of it gets recycled, most ends up in landfill or worse. Every week, these guys go down to their local beach and collect bits of rubbish, including plastic. Because plastic doesn't really go away, it just stays around. Some plastic gets washed up in the ocean and the animals um, will eat it and it's not good for them. Studies have shown that about 90% of birds have plastic in their stomachs. It's also being eaten by turtles and fish. And experts reckon if we don't do something about it, there'll be more plastic than fish in the ocean by 2050. It's pretty clear that we have a plastic problem, one that lots of people have been working to solve. We'd put plastics like these in a special bin and then we'd take it to Coles to get it recycled. We do nude food at school, so it's basically we just get normal food but we take away the plastic wrapper. Recently, state leaders agreed to a plan to phase out single-use plastics, like straws and cutlery and food containers, right around the country by 2025. And now, supermarkets and international manufacturers have agreed to tackle the problem here on the shelves. Last week, more than 60 companies, including Coles, Woolies, Coca-Cola and Nestle, signed up to something called the Anspac Plastic Pack. They've agreed that by 2025, they'll get rid of unnecessary packaging in the products they make and sell in Australia, New Zealand and the Pacific Island. They've also promised that all of the plastic they use will be reusable, recyclable or biodegradable. And more of it will be made from recycled material. It's taken three years to get the companies to agree to the pack. But some say it doesn't go far enough. You see, it's voluntary, so it'll be up to the businesses to see that they keep their promises. Some reckon it needs to be backed up with laws, which would punish companies if they do the wrong thing. But others say it's a good start and a sign that the big plastic breakup has finally begun. No more excuses, plastic. That was my last straw. We're done.